Now we do the component activation test. We use a light bulb to demonstrate. Clip the GT101 background wire to the bulb, and then the device inputs 12V to the light bulb, and the light bulb lights up normally, indicating it works fine. Now we do the component activation test. We use the motor to demonstrate. Clip the GT101 background wire to the motor, and then the device inputs 12V power to the motor. The motor runs normally, indicating that it works OK. No problem with the motor. The relay test must be removed from the car because the connection adapter we equipped is one-to-one -one with the relay interface. After the relay adapter is connected, I press the yellow function button on the GT101. After pressing it, the indicator lights on the relay are all on, and then the relay has a sound of pulling in, indicating that the detected relay is normal, otherwise, the leftmost indicator light on the DT101 device is always flashing green, indicating that the detected relay it is broken. We first detect the negative electrode of the battery. The green light in the middle of the screen flashes slowly, and the device buzzer emits a low frequency beep. Then we find a line to test. The device can detect negative electricity. The device buzzer emits a low frequency beep, and the indicator light in the middle will flash green. We change it to another test point. The device did not respond, indicating that no negative electricity was detected. Maybe because that the line is broken, and then further probe to locate the break point, and then go to repair. Detect the positive pole of the battery. The device flashes red light quickly, and the buzzer emits a high frequency beeping sound. Detect the negative electrode of the battery. The indicator in the middle of the screen lights green and flashes slowly, and the buzzer emits a low frequency beeping sound. Now we do the cleaning of the fuel injector. We first connect the adapter of the fuel injector. The fuel injector generally has two specifications of interfaces and users can plug in according to their own needs. When cleaning, try to hold the fuel injection nozzle tightly to avoid being sprayed out. During the cleaning process, insert the fuel injection nozzle cleaning connector into the cleaning agent's pressure tank and then press the yellow function button to start cleaning. After cleaning, release the fuel injection nozzle to clean the connector, and then press the yellow function button to close the cleaning.